So you're going to have a, uh, a media career now that you're uh, up in Detroit interviewing. Uh, <laughs> How did you hear about Solis. that? Uh, I, don't know, I think I, I think I saw it somewhere. Oh, okay. But uh, how was that experience? Yeah, it was neat. Uh, the TV station back home. Uh, you know, I've one of my best friends from high school. He's actually a sports anchor there. And, uh, they've asked me several different times when I'm back home if I could come help them out with just, uh, you know, game broadcast. They do a lot of high school basketball games and football games and that sort of thing. So uh, it's always something, you know, I've always been interested in, but it's, so I decided to try it out for them. Okay, great. Uh, I think you had 21 catches a year ago. So what, what what's that number going to be in 2011? I haven't really thought about that this year. I mean, it's just one of those things where, you know, uh, the quarterback, whoever's open is getting the ball. and. You know, so that's one thing, you know, you can't go into a game thinking, all right, I need eight catches this game or whatnot. And it's just, uh, if it comes your way, just catch it and go with it. Okay. Um, you, there's, you know, there's a lot of weapons here. I mean, it looks like you're going to be able to run the ball, you know, um, uh, you can do some wildcat. you got great wide receiving core and good tight end core. So, you I mean, you got a lot of weapons. Yeah. Are you excited about what you can do through the air this year? Oh, yeah. I mean, just by seeing, you know, the talent that we have at all positions and you know it all starts up front with the offensive line and the experience that comes back with that uh, you know that's a, a major plus for us right now is just you know uh, as far as how things go um, you know the flow of things I guess when you have offensive linemen that know what's going on that have experience that you know have played in games that goes a long way and just you know when the ball snapped knowing that the protection is going to be good that'll give the quarterback time to hit the wide receivers and then when you get out there you know the guys that are wide receiver experience too and just the, the route running that they do and coach Dixon has them do is phenomenal so you know there's no doubt that the receivers are going to get open and the quarterback will get in the ball. Okay. Um, can you give me a scouting report on your fellow tight ends? On the fellow tight ends? Yeah. Uh, well Zach Clark he's a senior this year or fifth year um, you know he's a big kid uh, definitely be able to move some guys inside. Uh, and be a threat downfield uh, receiving wise he I'd say lost some weight from last year and you know he's just one of those guys that um, you know he'll be a big body to be out there and cause some havoc um, and then uh, uh, Derek Roback you know he's one probably one of the most athletic guys on the team as far as you know he went to Notre Dame as a, a safety I believe came here started playing quarterback now he's moved to the tight end so he's just a big kid that can that can move and he's quick um, so he's another weapon, and then uh, Tyler Knight, he's a JUCO transfer. Um, he's a big guy as well. I think he's I don't know, probably 255, 6'4", or so. And you know, so we definitely have size at the tight end spot, and just to be able to be out there and you know have have guys that can rotate in and out. Uh, it's a big plus. Okay. Um, have you thought about your individual goals for the year? Uh, yeah, I mean, just to be out there and be reliable, I guess, you know, so every play when we line up, you know, Joe or A.J. Strom, the guys next to me, you know, they can trust me that I'm going to get my job done, and I'll trust the other 10 guys to get their job done. So to be, you know, to be consistent, be reliable um, is definitely one of the goals. And I just get back to Detroit and say as far as winning the MAC championship, you know, we were there two years ago, and last year, you know, we had our, we controlled our own destiny, and we let it slip away from us, and that, that still, that still is a bad, bad feeling. This that uh, whole Kent State game. So, and then to see Miami get there and win it. So, you know, we knew, we know we can beat Miami, or, you know, we proved that, you know, earlier on in the season. And to see them get there and win it, you know, the congratulations to them. But still, you know, we know we could have beat Miami, or we beat Miami, I guess. Yeah. But, uh, you know, so we're still, we have that, you know, that feeling. We haven't forgot what that was like um, to let that slip away last year. You got the uh, C on your collar, so what does it mean to you to be uh, named a captain? Yeah, I mean it's a big, it's a great deal, and you know it's just one of those things where, you know, to have the teammates elect me as a captain, you know, as far as the leadership role goes, um, you know, it's special just because you know they looked at me uh, as a guy that can lead by example. Um, you know, guys look up to, uh, and that it's special to me. Okay. I know you're only a weekend to camp, but any of the true freshmen catch your eye so far? Uh, I mean, Landon Smith, you know, he was here in the spring, and he did some good things in the spring, and uh, he came right back out this, this or, yeah, this fall, or for fall camp here, and, yeah, he's made some really good catches. Uh, some of the, the D linemen, we got some big, 
D-line recruits in, and you know the D-line is, I guess, is the most inexperienced probably, just due to the graduation of four guys last year. So, you know, some of those guys are stepping up there, you know, getting in, getting in the backfield a little bit. And yeah, it's just all around. You know, guys are hungry. They're here for camp, and they're ready to play.